Thank you for tuning into the Gift of the Podcast. Let's get to the Week 17 teasers to bet, starting with Green Bay minus 5.5 versus Chicago. I'm going to bump that to Green Bay plus 1.5. When I look at this matchup, I don't see anything that favors the Bears other than desperation. A couple of weeks ago, maybe we could have said, yeah, David Montgomery could come into this game and take advantage of that Green Bay defense, open the field up for Trubisky. But I don't even see that. Not after the way Green Bay was able to play against Tennessee, slowing down Derrick Henry and winning in such dominant fashion. I don't think they're going to have a hard time with the Bears. I think they carry the momentum into the playoffs with that first round by. They don't take any chances. Next game, Pittsburgh plus seven versus Cleveland. I'm going to bump that down to Cleveland as a pick. And the main reason why isn't even because Pittsburgh probably doesn't need this game because we all know the Bills are going to win out. It's because of that Steelers defense. You can take advantage of it. Yes, they're aggressive up front, but if you neutralize the pass rush, you can throw it, you can run it on draws, and Cleveland has the weapons to do it. They have Landry on the outside. They have a really good running back core. I think they can take advantage of that Steeler defense pretty easily, and honestly, in the playoffs, I think it's going to be a problem for the Steelers as well. Next game, New Orleans minus 6.5 versus Carolina. I'm going to bump that to New Orleans plus a half. New Orleans is not going to want to give up that second seed. And how is Carolina going to match up to a team like New Orleans? There's no way. Offensively, they really can't run the football all that well. So Bridgewater is going to get pigeonholed, throwing into that secondary. And defensively for the Panthers, they're not equipped to handle all the weapons that New Orleans has. And we just saw how high of a level Kamara is playing at right now. I think that continues. New Orleans wins in dominant fashion, carries it to the playoffs. Next game, Miami plus four and a half versus Buffalo. I'm going to bump that to Buffalo plus two and a half. They got everything to play for by getting that number two seed. They want it. And the main matchup that I'm looking at in this game isn't the Miami defense. It's not the Bills offense. It's the Miami offense for me. How are they going to put up points against this Bills defense? I don't see it. I really don't. You only get one of those with Fitzmagic. It's not going to happen again. Next game, Baltimore minus 11 and a half versus Cincy. I'm going to bump that to Baltimore minus three and a half. Baltimore is easily the better team. And I'm not impressed with Cincy recently. Maybe other people are, but I'm not. It's really got nothing to do with Cincy's defense. It has nothing to do with their offense for me. Big Ben gave that game away to Cincy. Last week, I did fail to neglect that Houston's defense is really bad. And I did make the mistake of picking Houston last week. I admit it. But in my opinion, does that change anything of my opinion on the Bengals? Absolutely not. They're not a very good football team this year. Brandon Allen is not going to be able to sling it on this Baltimore defense. And I think Cincy's defense is going to have some problems with the read option in Lamar Jackson, because right now Baltimore is playing at a high level. They're in sync. They're in rhythm. Baltimore minus three and a half. I think that's a steal. Next game, Tennessee minus seven versus Houston. I'm going to bump that to Tennessee as a pick. Pretty straightforward. Tennessee needs this game. And the way Derrick Henry has ran this season and how weak that Houston defense is, look at the, like I just said, look at the points that they gave up to Cincy this past week. Am I supposed to believe that Tennessee is going to struggle against them? I don't think so. Yeah, Deshaun Watson's really good, but I don't think he's going to go out there and put up 30 and win this game this week. Next game, Jags minus 14 versus Indy. I'm going to bump that down to Indy minus seven. Yeah, I know the Jags got the drop on Indy earlier this year, but that was way in the beginning of the season. Times change, things change. The way that this run game is going for Indy right now and how weak that Jags defense is, Indy's going to win this one really easily. And we're going to cap off the teasers with the Seahawks minus five versus the 49ers. I'm going to bump that to the Seahawks plus two because the more we let this develop and listen to it, Pete Carroll saying they're going to go out and try to get the W and play hard, With how depleted the 49ers are on both sides of the football, uh, the Seahawks, if they go all out, they will not have a problem with the 49ers. And that's pretty clear cut. So that wraps up our teasers. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe.